Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm just gonna be going over how to get all the birthday challenges done for week two and to make sure that you get all these fancy rewards here. So yeah, let's get into it here. Okay, so just wanna say too, make sure you are wearing the birthday suit for this and just wanna show as well, these are the challenges here. It's under the events tab. Not everybody knows about this stuff as kind of my motivation for making the video as well. I know a lot of these challenges are easy, but I just thought I would go through it just to make sure everybody's aware of this so you don't miss out on the rewards. And I'm sure there's a couple of tips and tricks I can show you here that maybe you weren't aware of. And of course, make sure you're wearing that birthday suit when you do these, everybody, or they will not count. Okay, so the first thing I wanna to touch upon is that you need to eat a slice of birthday cake. Now, I know some people didn't complete the challenges last week, so you will have to find a friend with a birthday cake or someone at a camp or someone's camp that has one, which I'm hearing most people do have them and I'll have mine out as well so you can eat that. Now, you have to build another, can or, uh, another cake while wearing your birthday suit. And I just wanna say, if you throw on contractor level two and you already have the cake, you can just scrap it and it'll give you all the materials back so you won't have to go hunting that Brahmin milk or that razor grain flour again. And you'll just be able to put another cake down after you scrap it. So extremely convenient. Um, <laughs> if you, if, it, it's so much better not having to go look for that stuff. Just boom, boom, done. Okay, another challenge we have to do is visit Vault 76 in the birthday suit. I would think that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you guys would be able to complete that without my help. Very easy. And for cobbler, we're gonna, we have to make a cobbler. So what I want you to do is come to any of these sundew groves and there'll be tons of cranberries. And cranberry cobbler is one of the easiest things to make here. So that's kind of why I wanted to show that. Also make sure you have green thumb on when you're picking these up. You do need five of them if I'm not mistaken, but just want to say there is well over five cranberries in here. And if you come to the one I did, I like to come here because a lot of the times there's a random encounter happening. So a lot of the times they'll be fighting each other. So they probably won't worry about you. So I just thought this was a good place to come to. Lots of cranberries over here. And then when you're done, you can come back home, come to your cooking station. And all you need is wood and cranberries to make the cobbler. Make five of them and boom, you're done. As for doing wall decor, I, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Just put anything on the wall and scrap it if you don't want it there. Boom, you're done. And for alcohol, I suggest going to the White Springs Refuge. If you can't find it at a train station vendor or if you haven't just picked it up randomly, you can just quickly come over here and talk to this gentleman here, which is Tannum, I think. Tannin is the name. And he has lots of alcohol, beer, or whatever you need to buy. Um, so you can easily get this challenge done as well. I just bought one beer for nine caps, drank it, and boom, the challenge was done. Um, you need to take a picture of another player while wearing the birthday suit. I just want to show that if you go into photo mode, it will not count. You have to use an actual camera. I will link a video in the description showing you how to get a camera in case you don't know how. Now here are the rewards that we get for completing all these. Here's the rug that we get. This is the uh, Nuka Shine Fermenter that we get. And just want to say too, it does look like that the, um, the graphics are very like low resolution or something on some of these. So I'm sure that'll be fixed. So if you're noticing that, just know that I did too. Here's the mysterious wooden crate, which unfortunately doesn't really have anything. It's just there for looks. And of course the sugar bombs fridge, which can be used as a fridge. I'm sure it will have more than a little bit of spoilage though, unlike the uh, cryo freezer. Um, here's the broken Gek machine. Not 100% sure what this thing is. It doesn't really do anything. I know it has something to do with after the war. Um, if anyone wants to let us know in the comments, that would be great. And here's the birthday um, frame if you want this to take a picture with. And I'm gonna show the Brahmin short, uh, short suit, which is similar to the one from last week, except it's the short version. And we're gonna show the sugar bombs, jacket and jeans, which is very nice as well. You can see the resolution is low on it as well, but as I'm gonna show right here, you can see it does fix. So I'm sure within a couple of weeks, 
or so, a couple days, hopefully a lot of the uh, resolution of these items will be fixed. And again, I hope this helped you guys get these challenges done. I know they're very easy, but a lot of people just aren't, you know, aren't even aware of them. So I just thought I would, you know, do this video just to make sure that you can get these done as they are very easy. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.